Okay guys, welcome back. So we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. We were obviously talking with Rick Shields last week about the Golf Bidder Challenge. That's right. And, yep. uh, it, it kind of stimulated some thought from you that you actually had purchased a, a club from a similar situation yes. from the bargain bin, but it looked like a, a true bargain at the time. It was, it was a great bargain. So I was, I don't know what I was doing, digging around in my garage last night. I've got a couple golf bags with old clubs and I saw an old Callaway head cover. I went, I totally forgot that I bought from Golf Avenue, who's been really good getting us um, our 2017 and 2018 yeah. driver series. So I thought, given that I'm now going to be using a Callaway driver, perfect time to, to just kind of reintroduce this thing that I bought. Must have been five, six years ago at least, and it, it was, was used, used 20, at the time. 2014 product line, uh, the, the Big Bertha Alpha. Yes, so saw the shaft when I bought it, looked yep. expensive, thought, ah, let's make that my next driver choice. Was struggling with my original ping, which you mm. would be familiar with at the time. So I bought that online, it came, used it for a little bit, uh, it turned out it was actually my swing that was the issue, shockingly <laughs> enough. So I didn't, I didn't play it for that long, but um, I'm just curious, like, I think we get so many questions. My driver's seven years old, my driver's yeah. six years old. You know, how is that compared to something new? And also you get the question, my driver's not fitted. Mm. How good is a fitted driver for me? So I think this is the closest we'll ever get to seven-year-old driver, yep. not fitted, versus 2020 driver that has been fitted. Yeah, I think so as well. There's probably a bunch of people looking, uh, going, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. The, the kind of, cause it was quite unique and it had like a midnight blue kind of finish to it. Good looking it. driver. It, it, was, it was a decent driver at the time. I remember Phil playing this one and yep. um, the Alpha, there was, a, there was a kind of version of it that had the sliding weight around the back and obviously this one with the gravity core. So yep. the ability to, to adjust vertical CG. So the core uh, having a sort of heavier part, which you can flip a bit like the CG cartridge that Titleist has. It looks exactly like that. Very much like that. So you can you know, unscrew it there and flip it. So if you want to bring the CG up a little bit, you know, you can change the launch characteristics and, and obviously flip it around. Mm -hmm. You've got two weights, you've got three and a five that you can make it, so sort of slightly more fade bias or draw bias, whatever you need. So pretty adjustable club for, for 2014. Yeah, I mean, kind of the, the, the remarkable thing is when you see the driver is that this was this is a considered a 460cc driver. So small looking. I mean, how how you know how much of a an indication that not all, all 460cc drivers are created equally. This Maverick standard to me is a pretty compact head, I think, by yeah, today's standards. Yeah, not, not huge either. You put that thing down beside it, that looks closer to being um, a tailor-made mini driver yeah, than an actual driver. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, so deep though and, and, and so kind deep. of lots of toe mass out here as well. Mm. Uh, you know, just, just very, very deep and, and sort of CG's little forward, not quite as deep uh, in front to back as well. So. Um, yeah, I mean, so many people would make a purchase go, oh, that's, that's a bargain. I'm getting a really exotic shaft. I in knew that. it was an expensive shaft and yeah. there was really no upcharge. I, I didn't pay much for the whole driver. That was my sole buying motivation for it, was it yeah. looked expensive. <laughs> Rombax uh, 6X07, so dating back to like 2008 sort of time. Jeez. So it's um, Yeah, you know, something that was a shaft that was, uh, I, want to believe, I want to say Luke Donald used this in a, in a driver uh, I remember back in the day, but mm. uh, was, was not, there was a stiffer version. The Z line was a little bit more tip stiff. It was a kind of gray with blue and sort of gray yep. flicks uh, up at the top. That was the, the sort of really tip stiff version. This one was a little bit softer than that, a little bit higher torque. Um, more of a kind of, I guess, if you want to designate it as something that would, you know, offer a, a mid-flight option, right. um, if you consider uh, shafts that way. So yep. it'd be, it will be interesting to see how this matches up to something that's fitted, modern, you know, Optimized. heavy, stiff. Yep. This guy's not even X-Flex. No, it's, it's, uh, an it's an S-Flex. It's an S-Flex. It's during my period of time when I thought a softer flex shaft would cure my various issues off the tee. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, I measured it. It's D4, so it's not like it's set up poorly. So uh, from a swing weight perspective, we have consistency and continuity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dot this guy up sure. as well. Um, and five grams in the toe, uh, so to give it a little toe. extra stability. Again, yeah. to make it as fair as we can. All right, dirty dog. We have you on number two at Pebble Beach. Lovely Thinking of that as a, as a nice driving hole for you. It's lovely. Um, yeah. You've got a nice bunker to frame the hole that you can just hit a lovely little draw off of. You keep it to one swing with this. There is a reason this is your driver, isn't there? Yes. Look at that. That's, there's not even gonna be a better shot today. Okay, let's just end the, <laughs> the video on that one. Oh! Hello, Freaky Deaky. Bomb. That's a 
a good swing. Yes. Oh, look at you hitting into the narrow bit. That is a tight fairway. We're thinking that's <laughs> awfully good and then you're in a bunker. <laughs> that should be in the centre. After a light rightward bounce. It's flying Come good. On. Be friendly. Yes, get over be there. Be friendly. Oh, yes. Come on, friend. I will count that as a fairway. We picked a narrower hole. <laughs> Those are three pretty good drives. Those are three really good drives. <laughs> that's the one I want to see from. Yeah, that's a good shot. Try oh! Neutralize it. Go! Holy moly. Oh, Mavericki. That's got a little bit of a fade to it. That was a, a one yard fade. Have I died? Those are two identical Hello shots. Hello there. That was a little high in the head strike as well. You so hear that like, too? Yeah, little low spinner. It's just like that shot, I'm going to guess that's 1900. Oh! Ooh, good guess. Like, this thing is good when I do that. It, it keeps you in the game, doesn't it? It really does. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't give me the 1200 off the, the top of the face that makes mm. me want to walk off the golf course. I'm done. A little spinnier, but I would tell you, take I it all day that. long, every day. Similar every ball way. speed, I bet you, 168 probably. Um, probably, yeah. Just I, right with a little bit more spin. Probably low on the face. 171, sneaky. Good. Sneaky Mavericky. So sneaky sneaky Maverick. freaky Mavericky. Sneaky freaky <laughs> deaky Mavericky. <laughs> all right, take this little three wood and deep face yeah. three wood. Yeah, those were good, eh? Those were really good. Okay, well, I mean, this thing looks pretty unfortunate after what I just hit. I mean, it's just tiny, tiny in comparison, tiny, but still 460, which is amazing. Yeah. Hard to, I mean, one thing I'll say is that I look like I can see some loft on it. We've, mm -hmm. we've kept it the same loft. So it, it isn't Starting the most loft is what nine. It's nine. Yeah. Both are nine. Yeah. Nine neutral. <laughs> Can't make fun of the sound. It, man, the sound it is good. good. Look at that good. baby go. Look at it go. Have I died? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's still long. It's not short. It's quite quick, 169. Jeez. Oh. oh. Exposed. I don't know what BB that Alpha was. exposed. <laughs> I'm going to call that a low oh, spread. Oh, is that? Low heel? Low toe. Jeez. 4,000 spin. There's a high one. It was nearly a fairway. So it was long, I would imagine. Ball speed's down 167, Spin 1200. On. Okay. There's your stability difference, I guess. Yeah. It's got a spinny one in it, isn't it? Yeah, I actually thought I hit that really well. I mean, it's, it's kind of some of the stuff that I'm sure we've identified before with a shaft that to me, feels like it's kicking in a bit of a weird spot. Yeah. So sometimes I feel it doing this, sometimes mm -hmm. I feel it doing that. It's good on a good one, though. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little harder to get a good one. Yeah, look at it. I mean, how often have I ever seen you hit a shot with a face 5.6 degrees open to your path? I mean, certainly not lately. It's a rare thing. Yeah, not lately. <laughs> not lately. Getting a little bit more toe down deflection than normal. That lie, 4.8 oh. is probably the lowest I've ever seen your dynamic lie with a driver. That's always seven ish, yeah. right? Seven, eight. So it's probably a little droopy. Again, that's a swing that feels as good as I can hit it. And it, it's not the flight I expect. I think that's the difference between mm -hmm. the two is when I make a swing. Yeah, that's a pretty good swing. When I make a swing with mine and I know it feels good, I expect to see the ball fly a certain yeah. way. That felt as good as any swing and it went left. I think one thing I see with players is that when a shaft gets a little bit soft, I see it more likely to go fade side than hook side. You've said that and I think it's an important misconception. Like it's, it's poisoning to somebody. Like if yeah. someone goes, I'm hooking it, I need to, like my shaft is too soft. Yeah. What are they gonna do, go stiffer now and then what's gonna happen? I know. I know. Hook it more. Yeah. Let me see if I can get one in the fairway. I'm working hard, I'll tell you that much. Just 
just as late, isn't it? Just late yeah. to the party, so. You're definitely calling her on that pattern. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll try to draw this a bit to combat that, I guess, eh? There you go. Okay. Done a nice job. So, on the good ones, look at this. Three, <laughs> 310 in the air, it's going to go 340. It's just not as consistent. You can hit a bomb with, yeah. with this. I'm glad that the message that we, I feel like the message we've been consistent with in 2020 driver tests, especially is if you have a fairly new driver, you're not, well, it is a bit slower. A bit slower on the average. But it, you know, generally speaking, a really good hit can keep up for ball speed, fair mm -hmm. enough. But you're looking at inconsistencies across the face on spin and, and yeah. ball speed. Look at that ball speed retention. Yeah. It's within, you know, standard deviation was probably one or two, and that one's yeah. two. Two point. So it's yeah. quite a bit. Spin. More than double the deviation in spin. Yep. Uh, more than double the deviation in yardage. Even just looking and height, at height, everything, every yeah. category. Those apex yeah. variants. So seven drives with, with each. Yeah. Five fairways with mine. Two fairways with this. Mm -hmm. So I think across the board, it just points to, it just points to like what what you should be <laughs> looking for. Look at this. It's so good. Like that's what. The strikes aren't bad either. Interesting. Freaky Deaky is, uh, is being s swung a little quicker. Not surprised. Or, Confidence, right? Yeah. Or, or whether that's some, some sort of effect of, of the shaft flex. Or um, the head shape, maybe. Yeah. Hard to say. All that sort of stuff. Not quite as efficient with it, which is not hard to believe. But dynamic yeah, dynamic fly. We, we thought we saw that, didn't we? Very interesting. You're right. Two full degrees. Path and everything is the same, though. Yeah, delivery. We're, we're looking <laughs> at a very similar delivery. This is actually... Damn so, you're, so here is probably a representation of significant more deflection. Yeah. More in terms of lead uh, deflection and dynamic loft. Yep. If we are getting more lead deflection and dynamic loft, the chances are we're losing energy by that shaft being mm. out of, out of uh, alignment. Because you basically, when we've, again, we'll just allude to it, but some of the gears tests, basically the kick speed or yep. like, I guess, head acceleration. Yep. Sometimes the head's actually technically slowing down mm -hmm. before impact and sometimes it's neutral or faster. Yeah. So you could probably guess this was slowing down a bit. We want the shaft, we want the head to be accelerating as much as possible, which means it isn't read as a high measurement in terms yes. of acceleration, because if it has accelerated and it's read high, it means that most of that energy it's has gone. been lost. Yeah. You want to get the contact as the energy is moving through it. So that's an interesting little, I mean, it's cool to see what parts of this could be the shaft pairing and what parts are the limitations of the head. I would say, it struggles a bit yeah. to manage a miss hit, for sure. Yeah. And the shaft being not one that was fit for me mm. just is struggling to suit my timing. That's, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, and, and hopefully the takeaway for you guys is that a lot of you are using five, six, seven year old drivers and you go, well, my driver keeps up with uh, modern day technology. They can. Sure, on a one to one best to best case scenario. But when we're looking at a, a, a range, a season's worth of shots, yeah. The chances are you're quite significantly less uh, and you're quite significantly m less accurate. Uh, so, you know, getting fitted, get the modern sort of equipment in your hands, use it to its full capabilities, and you're, you're going you're gonna to improve those driving stats, more There's fairways further down the, the, the course. It only took seven balls with each to start to see the disparity. Yeah. But you're right. If I had to hit one best, one best, they were within a yard of each other. Absolutely. Best and for best. There's, you know, actually, your best one was quickest with yeah. uh, Big Bertha Alpha. And that's the prime example someone would go, oh, well, this is still better. Yeah. It really isn't. It's like, not. No, it's absolutely. Didn't no. take much. I will say I'm, I'm impressed with the center face hit on this. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> it's, it, it sounded, sounded good as well. It's actually amazing how similar in sound and feel they are Yeah. across kind of what is many generations of drivers. But it would appear that jailbreak works quite well mm -hmm. um, and maybe a little bit of AI face, who knows. But it's very good, consistent across the face. And this one is just a little more sporadic. From a protection of ball speed standpoint, it's very good. Yeah. Very good. This uh, was the, fun. The new technology. Okay, guys, uh, we like taking a little trip down memory lane with these things and, and seeing how far technology has come. Hopefully you guys can relate to this and see uh, some, some maybe some benefits for yourselves when we all get back out in the golf course, which hopefully is edging day by day a little bit closer now. So we all can't wait to get out there. Yep. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.